I'm Dr. Melissa Kennedy. I'm a clinical virologist here at the University of Tennessee College of Veterinary Medicine. Our laboratory runs all the diagnostic samples for a variety of infectious diseases. Canine distemper is a virus that's very similar to measles virus of people. Uh, it can affect people, but uh, it is closely related. It's a highly contagious disease of dogs and it can be lethal. This virus occurs globally. Uh, it, it's still a problem in the U.S. We see it in wildlife such as raccoons, foxes, coyotes, uh, and skunks. So dogs don't even have to be in contact with other dogs to contract this disease. It's spread primarily by direct contact and also by aerosol spread, so coughing on one another, much like what would happen with us with a cold virus. Dogs usually are pretty depressed. They quit eating. Uh, they'll lay around a lot more than usual. They may have a runny nose and runny eyes. You may uh, have coughing in your dog. Uh, and they can even uh, manifest as GI signs, such as vomiting and diarrhea. The most serious form of the disease is neurologic, where it actually infects the brain, uh, and that ultimately leads to death of the animal. If you suspect your dog has distemper or is ill, the important thing is to take it to the veterinarian uh, immediately because supportive care is what is going to be critical to the survival of the animal. Uh, this virus is also quite immunosuppressive, so dogs often get secondary bacterial pneumonias. So it's important that they be under a veterinarian's care uh, in order to combat the virus. Depending upon whether or not they have any immunity at all to the virus, you can see it vary from just a mild case of kennel cough all the way to the most lethal form of the disease. The most important thing dog owners can do is have their dogs vaccinated. It's a simple procedure. The vaccine's very effective uh, and it will protect them from the distemper that's circulating. Depending upon the age of their animal, they will receive vaccines early in puppyhood. They'll receive it several times uh, at a year of age and then at least every three years after that. Just like our flu shots that we do every year, it's important for dogs to remain current on their vaccines as well.